Sergio speaking about uh, about this cockpit and uh, Dr. Zedge. We have a product. Uh, so this is the new. We have a product. Uh, it's called Dr. Zedge, and uh, it started from uh, from the result. So I'm uh, I'm now a, an SAP system owner. Let's say a quite assurance and IT manager, and uh, uh, weekly I'm receiving. Uh, this kind of Excel um, report. And, and the most interesting information for me is uh, for sure the code quality. <coughs> so the, the Dr. Zedge is reporting for this week uh, a global score of the system of 77 um, split by five uh, class of indicators. Quality maintenance that are absolutely more important. Uh, quality maintenance, then the security performance, uh, I would say, are less important. And HANA readiness, uh, it becomes important, relevant uh, for um, installations uh, and that are going to migrate to HANA. Otherwise, are without any meaning. So uh, after receiving the quality, quality uh, after looking at the quality index, uh, I go a step further looking for some key indicator like number of objects, number of uh, line of codes. Okay, now let me take uh, a, a complete system, for example, this uh, Excel file that represents uh, the complete IDES system. So in this IDES system, uh, we have uh, uh, more than 2,000 of ABAP objects uh, Typically, are uh, program functions and classes. Uh, the number collects uh, a line of code of half a million. So, line of code are obviously above steps, uh, statements uh, without uh, space line comments uh, and other uh, declaration uh, that, like data and types and so on and so forth. Okay. Then uh, there is. Uh, the representation uh, coming from the standards, so it's not specific about SAP, these are standards, maintainability indexes, cyclomatic complexity. But uh, uh, let's go to the five indicators. In this uh, uh, view, I can, I can have a look to the na uh, pure number. So I got uh, for this system around 3,000 of uh, errors, let's say, of issues. Okay, average. Uh, by object are uh, one and average by one k of line of statement are uh, seven. <coughs> so we uh, we compute uh, in Dr. Z, let's say, computer averages uh, by objects and by one k of uh, line of code. Maintainability, uh, for example, represents uh, um, thresholds uh, reached uh, about, uh, for example, mm, too few comments, so there is a fee, uh, threshold that is six percentage of the line should be comments. And if you do not, re, uh, if you if the code uh, do not uh, reach the threshold, it's uh, reported like an error, and this uh, is counted here in the lines of uh, comment. In, instead, there is really the number. So here we have the thresholds, the exceptions, and the uh, numbers. That means uh, 100 and half. Uh, Comments by each 1k of line of code, real line of code. Okay, this is how Dr. Zedge represents uh, average because, because then as a system <coughs> owner, I have some goals. I have benchmarking from the market, I have uh, benchmarking from my internal system. For example, I can have uh, more than one ECC system, or I want to compare the ECC quality against uh, the CRM, against uh, the SRM, APO, but uh, especially against uh, the other customer and the average of the other customer. So this is the, um, the map of uh, uh, target goals, let's say. So about uh, a standard ECC system, uh, it contains uh, half uh, a million of, million of uh, above objects for more than 2,000 of million of line of scores. 
So this is the standard that cannot be counted the measure because it takes too much time. But <coughs> speaking about uh, the Z code in a typical IDE system, we spoke about it before, and uh, we have already a couple of uh, customers. On one customer, we computed uh, 1,000 objects for uh, less than uh, half a million of lines of code, uh, maintainability index uh, and cyclomatics, uh, quality index, uh, and so on and so forth. Huh? So this customer knows that is not uh, aligned with the other customer. The other customer is uh, a bit better, say, better and from the, uh, the global score, but looking in the detail, uh, indeed, uh, the quality index is better on this, but it's uh, uh, awful from the maintainability point of view. Okay? That's uh, the view of the IT manager. Now, a team leader, a project manager, uh, an AMS manager wants something more, got uh, the same uh, evaluation, but uh, the same, but he has also access to a list, to a list of objects where each row represents a main, a, 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 an above object uh, that can be accessed from the normal transaction. Here we have some classification, package, the object type, so as object type, we have indeed class, function group, program, and web info. We have the object name, let's call it the main object, the contact person, okay? And, and here I can go further in the analysis. For example, I can now take advantage of the Excel, have a look to the worst, or in this case, the longest or highest. In terms of comment, I can see who who cannot respect uh, uh, some uh, thresholds of the comment line, maintainability index, uh, then the documentation, but also Wikipedia says that uh, below 20, it's a really bad uh, structure program, so there are thresholds to be looked at too. Is, again, for cyclomatic complexity, let's say above 60 is awful, okay? Below 60 is acceptable. Lower is better. And the density represents what? This cyclomatic represents the number of different parts of the code. So the number of if, when, statement, uh, or uh, all the combination, it's uh, a part of the code. And this number represents the part of the code. So something also you should test. So it's the number of tests, cases you have to prepare. But uh, it, without any meaning, if you cannot uh, compare it, so you can com uh, compare only against the decision density that uh, divide by one uh, one k of uh, line of codes. Okay, so here we can have a look to the worst in terms of quality. The worst object. This object contains five issues in terms of quality, and so on and so forth. Okay. Then the developer can access to another view that represents something more. So we have again the type and the name of the main object, but we have also <coughs> the sub-objects. In this case, in a lab object environment, we have a lot of method of the class. Method, method, method. Let's scroll quickly the file. Okay, here we have also event from the classical reporting, event in block, initialization, class, method. So, in this case, you have also access to the, so we have the main object, web improv, web improv. Here we recognize the component control that at the end is uh, an object. And then we have, uh, finally, the needs conf confirmation, probably, needs confirmation method of the component controller of the web info with a line of code, it's one in this case, so it seems uh, basically implemented with just one line of code, very easy, and, and here I can have a look as a, as a developer to which objects should be, the, terms, the technical terms is refactoring. 
So it should be analyzed and modularized better if above the thresholds. So <coughs> that's uh, the analysis, the results of the analysis uh, that we can perform with uh, the Dr. Zedge. That in the end is uh, an ABAP repo. This is the name. And this is the demand. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we are again. So that, that at the end is just a, a report. I can, I can uh, for sure save the value to the report. It's a report that uh, takes an input, uh, the ATC of the cockpit results and the well format in the Excel file of the output. Okay. <coughs> the input. Uh, I call it ATC runs. We need a couple of runs. And here we have access to all the runs of the ETC. So normally I need an ATC run that measures, counts the matrix, and another that counts the validations. Because the ATC can run or for matrix or for validations. And the, well, the nice of the tool, the Zedge tool, is that the results are mixed though. Instead, uh, using standard ATC transaction, you have uh, uh, different uh, analysis. And you cannot compare visual with findings, so you will never, got, uh, um, you will never get uh, average uh, ratios and thresholds. No? So when, uh, when you have uh, prepared uh, the ATC runs, uh, now you can, uh, um, you can evaluate them. For example, you can uh, skip the standard includes, that is uh, suggested. For example, for the clones, the cloned ABAP object, you want to skip the include, but you want to eventually to count. <laughs> ABAP test copy, you will know uh, that uh, support the workflow to ask for exemptions. So an initial issue is then uh, managed uh, as a normal uh, statement because uh, quality assurance accepted Approved and exceptions are not exceptions, are exemptions. So something that starts as an error and becomes something acceptable. Okay, this is managed by the workflow of the above cockpit, and the report can take into account uh, the uh, exemptions or not. You can get uh, a result in the sub ULV, but you want uh, for sure to have uh, in the MSX. Uh, as a down, download, or absolutely the best is to get via email and run this, job, this as a job daily or weekly. And you will just access to the inbox. Okay. Um, we have a lot of computation to produce the final magic number, and uh, all the thresholds and uh, weights are here reported and can be adjusted, but. Uh, uh, these are already are set, uh, evaluated against a lot of customer systems. Okay, so uh, let's start from the beginning. Let's say this uh, as a this uh, indeed uh, it's just a report. Obviously, it is a report that uh, me and Alessandro developed uh, with ABAP and Eclipse, uh, like every one of you has to do from now on. So you want to use only ABAP in Eclipse, in Eclipse, and this is a report, obviously, is, uh, has been coded in an object-oriented view with a lot of uh, method calls and uh, a lot of uh, internal class and methods and subclass and interface. Everything is uh, within the report itself because uh, they are, the classes are not uh, useful for the outside people. Okay. Um, from here, we can run our, our dear friend, the ABAP test cockpit, because it's also integrated in, in the ABAP Eclipse. And the warning, the navigation between the warnings is really very fast, much faster than in the sub -buoy. As you can see, you got the warning from the ATC, and here you got a message from the ATC. Okay, um, so for, for selecting the ATC run, you can go to the system, and here you want to 
considered exemption or not, yes, and uh, you want to check uh, against a set of rules that uh, we coded in this uh, called the inspector check variant. Okay. So again, one time running background from the ATC and the same from the subway. It's exactly the same here or there. Options in the subway, I can select the variant. Also for each run in the Eclipse, you have to change the property of the system, but it's more or less the same. I can run also here in batch. One, and this is the normal way, way of work for the single object, running batch, running batch, and that's it. Then run, run, check, violations. Uh, I expected the matrix. I think it's still running. Matrix violation, violations, and here the matrix. Okay, we can combine. You can combine, skip standard, evaluate, and let's have a look in Excel as a team leader. Yes, let's accept all the standard parameters. Let's say in the selected directory. And that's it. That's it. So our report uh, contains uh, this number of statement, comments, lines, and blah, 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 blah. We have a couple of <laughs> issues with performance. But more interesting uh, for the single report uh, is the developer view. So again, again, developer view. Uh, okay. <coughs> okay, and here I have a complete picture of one program. We have one program. The program contains class events, method, and starter selection. Here we have each class, the, the internal class, and the method of the internal class reaching uh, like a further way deep on the second level of the indentation. No? And here, the most important part is uh, that I can have a look uh, to the class and uh, to the lock, mental mobility, and synchromatic. So I think the coding matrix can be um, refactored to be simple at the end. can probably use uh, uh, modularization better. Okay, I have no issue for that particular uh, method, no issue about uh, comments uh, and matrix. So the cyclomatic threshold that we set is 60, and we got no issue about that. Okay. Mm. <coughs> Developer quality. Yes. And here I can type uh, rename, run again. In this case, okay, I will get immediately the email that is uh, the preferred way to work. Let's wait a bit. Okay, so the point the Dr. Z consists of uh, two parts. One is, is uh, uh, going to be so we are trying to sell uh, with a real license this dashboard for a couple of thousand of euro for installation, unlimited in time. Okay, so it's very very cheap at the end, and uh, we have also you remember probably the test of their code. So there is a, a class. This class is called the Doctor Edge R code. And this is a distributed free of charge, unlimited. This is not producing the dashboard. The, the, the dashboard. This is just. Let's have a look. Okay. 
violation for the complete system. So without the doctor Zerger, you just got we just get numbers. So you you will never get uh, features, uh, but you will get this view with numbers. And the uh, the the gap that we try to fill is uh, to provide uh, again. Average because uh, yeah, with numbers you you cannot uh, uh, understand if the system is containing a lot of objects or or few objects. You have okay that number of error, but it doesn't mean so. Uh, I think uh, the transaction is designed with one goal is to get zero error. If you take the transaction to get zero error, it works. But uh, uh, in system we evaluated, uh, you got more than 10,000 errors. So you have to uh, work with, uh, with live with errors, and you have to be able to classify errors by type, by number, compare with other, and with thresholds. So this is the ATC. You will get uh, performance issues. For example, in this case, here, you can uh, have a look at the instruction statement. And you can ask for the exemptions. Okay, remember the exemptions are very relevant. I can ask to uh, Lavazzi to accept this issue because it's legacy, so it's uh, an exception uh, present uh, also before my last announcement, and I have not to correct all the system, so it's an old exemption, and uh, that's the workflow part. But uh, back to the Dr. Z, this is the free of charge component that uh, integrates the code inspector and the Rotter's cockpit, providing at the end a transparent view. It's not solving the problem, it's just reporting um, a transparent view of uh, bad practice in terms of the use of fixed plans, fixed, no? You have got the idea, fixed organizational levels, like in this case. So, uh, again, this is uh, the uh, transparency can be obtained with the Dr. Zedge accord, free of charge, but the customer has just to ask to us and will deliver the code. The code consists only of two classes that can be imported in the, to the target system simply, as you know. In the newest version, you have this magical button, and you have, you have all the code, just copy and paste on the target system, and that's it, okay, for a couple of, of uh, classes. That's the Dr. J, uh, Z, uh, hard code, the analysis of the hard code, and the dashboard, indeed, uh, it's the other report. Uh, it took uh, time uh, to me and Alessandro to develop the report. Uh, so I think it's a value. It cannot be uh, written in, in a couple of days, for, for sure. Mm -hmm. Okay, thanks uh, to Yannacci, Lavazzi, Efemi, uh, all, uh, all the guys that uh, uh, announced uh, and uh, developed the tool. And thanks so much for the attention. Thank you.